what is up YouTube? I know it's been a while I haven't been vlogging but if you're on Instagram you definitely seen the stories that I've been doing on the stories a lot on Instagram but I think I need to get back into the vlogging because I haven't been vlogging a lot I'm so sorry but I am producing a lot of good videos for you guys but um, today I will be taking you guys on a quick journey I just wanted to go test out the DJI Ronin with the A6300 mounted on its 70 70 to 200 f4 lens this is the Sony 70 to 200 f4 lens so today we're gonna go to downtown and uh, we're just gonna go play around and see how the footage looks like and again that's the a6300 sony 7200 f4 on the dji rona it's a pretty big bundle but this setup is about the same weight as the sigma 1835 um, it's actually a little bit lighter than the 1835 i think but let's just go out and take a look at the footage and see how it looks like and uh, let's do that right now not aware of the Sony, a Sony A6300 it is a 1.5 crop and the lens that I'm using on it is a full frame lens so 70 to 200 is not a true 70 to 200 it's about a crop so it's about 105 to 300 mil so it's pretty white right in your face so uh, that's why we're headed to downtown and we're just gonna film like some buildings and we're pretty much gonna be like in sniper mode we're just gonna sh shoot very far away and just get some image and see how well it performs with the Ronin. I already know it's gonna perform good because it's lighter than the Sigma 1835 and it also has built-in in-body, no it has built-in uh, stabilization in the lens so of course it's gonna be way better as far as the uh, stabilization and all that good stuff. I know the image quality should be good. For anyone that isn't used to Alaska or Anchorage, Alaska, this is basically Anchorage, Alaska downtown. I honestly used to hate coming to downtown, but now I just have a love for downtown Anchorage. It's just so beauty. Um, it's not like one of those crazy big city, um, and it's just really, really nice to come out to downtown once in a while and just kind of be in the zone of the city, the heart of the city. And this really is the heart of the city of downtown for Anchorage. And uh, right now it's currently 2:30 p.m., so it's not quite rush hour yet. But once it strikes like four or five, four to four to six p.m. Rush hour is pretty crazy, or I wouldn't say crazy, rush hour is crazy for Alaskan, but I guess if you're from Sacramento or California, uh, Alaska's rush hour is probably nothing to you because it's like a typical day to you. But right now we're going to head down to this park called the Denali Park Strip. Okay, so we are at the Denali Park Strip and I'm going to give you guys a tip you guys are coming. If you guys ever come to the Denali Park Strip, you guys see how all these cars are parking facing out? Well, guess what? The rule is that you have to park facing out. Last time I came here and I parked driving in, I got a $20 ticket. So next time you guys come out here, make sure you guys are parked like this because... Okay, so we're shooting on the A6300 with the 7200, like I told you guys, Sony F4. And we're going to be shooting all in S-Log2. Because I usually shoot S-Log2, so I'm just going to shoot an S-Log2. Right now, when you're watching the vlog, you're on um, PP1 picture profile. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do no edits on the vlog, so when I'm vlogging or I'm talking, there's gonna be no uh, edits on the colors straight out of the camera PP1 what is that movie but when we're on the Ronin you're gonna be watching S-Log2 so basically we're gonna be on S-Log2 4k 24 frames uh, white balance will be set to cloudy because it is pretty cloudy I'm just gonna set it cloudy let me show you guys a little bit what I have on this is the Ronin uh, 7200 this is obviously uh, there's no modification needed so I didn't install any extra weights nothing like that it balanced just fine it's just not balanced right now because it's on the car and it's just wobbling around. I'm running the uh, the iCan 4 inch monitor because they're asking that. It's pretty, pretty nice monitor. Really nice. Even though it's 4 inch only, it's super, super clean, detailed. Uh okay, <coughs> 200 mil F5 800 ISO. Holy shit, we're probably like uh, 50 yards away from these goose right here. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you for being such a good subject, duckies. 200 mil F5. So right now we're at 200 mil F5. 800 ISO ISO 800 ISO and this is basically equivalent to 300 mil you can see right there it's kind of I'm on autofocus right now so 
Everything's AF. And man, it is pretty gnarly. I look at that bokeh in the background. I could go into manual focus if I want, but right now I'm just gonna see what AF does. Real, really nice. What do you guys think? Once again, this 200 mil F5 800 ISO S Log 2, uh, no filter. Cut. One, uh, 70 mil F5 800 ISO. Action. Oh my god, that's beautiful. All right, 135, 135 mil F5 800 ISO. Man, it still looks really good. I think once you get to 200 uh, mil, it looks really, really bad. But at 135, it looks really good. Oh my god, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. 135. So this shot here is at 200 mil uh, F5 again. And we're probably about 40 yards, 30 yards away from these geese right here. Let me just do an uprising crane shot. Whoa. Nice. These geese are so good subjects. Now at 200 mil and that building that we're looking at right now, the Captain Cook, that's about a quarter mile away from us. I'm just gonna do a pan down right now. We're panning and walking at the same time, so that's the sidewalk right there. 100 mil, we're completely in manual focus. And I'm gonna do this shot that I always like, is this is a tree right here, so we're gonna go left. Beautiful. Slowly rise up. Beautiful. We'll do that one more time, guys. And this is what I like. I like the foreground. Whenever you see something in the foreground like this, like a tree blocking away, just do a slight... Just like that. Just like that. And we're gonna cut it right here. 200 mil, guys. Boom. And that, again, is 200 mil right here. We're gonna go slightly raise it up. Beautiful cut 200 mil f6 manual focus All right guys, so there you have it the uh, footage from the Ronin and the 7200 let me know what you guys think I think it looks pretty good. Well so far I haven't even looked at it in the computer yet, but so far it looks good on the screen and uh, let me know what you guys think and Drop me a comment in the section below. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me any questions. And uh, make sure you guys subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.